Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts. I'm going to show you something that I use in uh, Sublime Text 2 all the time. And that's going to be JS linting and hinting. And if you're not familiar with these concepts, what this is, is it sort of goes through your JavaScript and finds things that you could be doing better. Uh, things that, you know, maybe just spacing issues or you left off a semicolon. It can save your life sometimes. Uh, you have an issue with your JavaScript and you just have no idea what's wrong. And maybe it's something really stupid that you're just glossing over. So we're going to do Command Shift P. We're going to do a package, install packages, and we're going to look for a package called Sublime Lint. Okay, so this uh, is probably the best one because it has all sorts of different linters in it. And here we go. We have uh, this output here. And it's just going to tell you a little bit about this uh, particular package. So what linting does, it's going to go through and find your code and highlight some uh, bad stuff or whatever, uh, things that need adjusting. So let's try to use a JavaScript linter. So uh, lint via built-in JS hint or lint, uh, and we'll go over the differences between those two as well. So I'm going to have this JavaScript file open that I have right here. So I'm going to do command shift P and I'm going to type in lint and we see the sublime linter lint current file. We don't even have to say uh, what we're going to be using. We're just say lint current file, hit enter, and it found 17 errors. Okay, they're all highlighted. So uh, we can go through and we can adjust these errors so we can see exactly what the problem is. Uh, you notice that there's all this space after here. So uh, that leads me to believe that that's most likely the problem here. And many of this stuff seems to be just formatting. Okay, and there's also some funkiness here. Uh, delete this and let's tab back over. Okay, we'll save that. And you can see as I save this, the things that are clearly wrong are going away. Um, and if you know JavaScript um, and you see like something like this where uh, it's highlighting all the space here, you know that the problem probably lies somewhere in here. So this really doesn't tell you exactly what the problems are, but it's going to show you where the problems are. And that's maybe even for the best because um, in fact, I want to take care of all these right now. Uh, because, you know, really hunting and finding out these bugs is really probably uh, a good thing for getting better at your code and, and seeing exactly where you've made your mistakes. So after saving it now, you can see there's no more highlighted things. There's really nothing wrong with this code. I mean, well, I mean, there's, there's things that are wrong with it in the sense that maybe I'm using a click function here or whatever. But... Uh, there's nothing syntactically uh, syntactically wrong with this. So uh, when I save it, I'm pretty sure that this code is going to work as it was written. Maybe not. A, maybe it's not going to work as it was intended to be written, but it's written to a way that is going to work in, in some fashion. There's no syntactical errors here. Okay, so this is a way that you can make sure you're writing good code. And if you'll notice that the uh, package control message that popped up here says this isn't just going to lint JavaScript, but it can also lint all these other languages, which is awesome. So use check out uh, Sublime Linter and make you a better coder. You'll find out you know what you're doing wrong or just things you can do better. And as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up on Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.